Hey everyone, John Chow here for JohnChow.com and welcome to another episode of the .com Lifestyle Vlog. Right now I am in West Vancouver with the family and we're here at Cutters Club. We're doing really good, yeah I am. Uh, okay, uh, my wife and mother-in-law, they're going to share the, uh, the barbecue duck clubhouse. Okay, I'm going to have the spaghetti lini with meatballs. Mm -hmm. And uh, Daniel here is going to have the Fini Burger. And they are going to share the, the, the ravioli. Yeah, that's like the ravioli, the ravioli and prawn trio. Uh, not the trio, but the full size one. Yeah, butternut squash ravioli and prawn. And then for the truffle fries. Yeah, truffle fries. Yeah, tuna tataki. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. Every time I come to Vancouver, I always make a case to either go to Nam Pan and Katas Club because these are like the two go-to restaurants in Vancouver. Uh, while Nam Pan is a single store family operation, Katas Club is a chain. They have like a lot of stores. I think they have a, over 30 stores and at least a dozen in Vancouver, they're in Calgary, they're in Toronto. It was founded by uh, Scott. Ricky and Scotty, but now one of them is gone, only went. And basically, the menu was developed by Iron Chef contestant Rob Feeney. So, uh, Rob doesn't have his own restaurant anymore, apparently. He's a, he's a fantastic chef, but not a very good businessman. So, uh, his restaurant went under, so he ended up working at Catholic Club, and he developed a menu for Catholic Club. And for the last five plus years, Catholic Club has been the number one chain restaurant here in Canada, in, and in, particularly in Vancouver. They have one casual restaurant a year, every year in Vancouver Magazine, ever since uh, Rob came over. So, yeah, food here is really good. And another Canadian item. We don't need straws to drink our Coke. That's right. Well, it could be she just, she just forgot. One of the reasons I sat where I'm sitting and not where the kids are sitting is because there's a window behind there and therefore the lighting Lighting just a mess, so yeah. All right, the opening appetizers are here. This is the truffle fries. I see Sally couldn't wait already. Already went for it. Is it good, Sally? Yeah, it's one of her favorite dish. It's it's really the truffle flavor. I mean, it's not real truffle, obviously, but the truffle flavor is there. And the second dish, uh, this is the tuna tataki. It's thin slices of rare tuna and uh, some kind of ginger glaze uh, sauce. It, a lot of flavor, really, really good. This is interesting. You guys are using chopstick to eat French fries. It's, you could tell that uh, you could tell that the Cactus Club has an Asian influence. <laughs> yeah, there's a definite Asian influence in the Cactus Club. Well, but because we're in Vancouver and there is a high big Asian influence here. So they're enjoying it, so. Look how fast you finished the truffle fries, there's no more. <laughs> You're kind of upset? No more truffle fries? <laughs> wow, we finished off the appetizer really, really fast. <laughs> but it, it was really good. Let's see how fast the wire is here at Cutters Club. Yeah. A lot of people say, go work at Starbucks. The problem is working at Starbucks, it sucks, because the internet sucks. So look, look at Cutters Club. I'm getting a good 22 megabits down low. I was slowing down a little bit, but that's already faster than, than a Starbucks. And the thing is, the key is the upload speed. Hey, a lot of the time, my main thing is I need to be able to upload and cut the club into, uh, and the upload speed is, yeah, this already is, uh, okay, not, it ain't no Apple store, that's for sure. But they only about less than two upload. So I won't be uploading any 4K videos anytime soon from, from my Cats Club. Yeah, so here we go. 13.2 down, 1.8 up. I mean, it, I guess that's about, uh, honestly, I guess that's about Starbucks territory. It will do for, you know, Instagram and stuff, but I won't be uploading any videos. So this is the uh, Kobe Star Meatball Spaghettini. And it comes with garlic bread. I know, I know Sally's gonna take my garlic bread because she loves garlic bread. But uh, I see they changed it since the last time I've been here. It's in a, it's in a dish, it used to be in a bowl. The presentation looks, uh, looks better, I say, looks better. 
and that's you get more fries wow you can't get enough fries huh anyway this is the fini burger the fini burger this is what daniel having this uh, it's originally uh, of course named after rob fini he developed the burger when he had his restaurant fini and he bought that burger over here okay. and then sally and amy they got the butternut squash ravioli and prawn and she's eating the leaf yeah it's a good leaf the leaf is good yeah it's good but uh this is sally's favorite dish when she comes to uh she come to kata club she the butternut squash is really really good and lastly the barbecue duck clubhouse all cut up got it with a fry you know i could have had it with a caesar salad instead of fries but you've got to tell them oh wow then you're gonna try the burger take a bite out of that see how you like it there you go wow that's good eh how's it compared to mcdonald's how's it compared to mcdonald's burger <laughs> better right all right so it's a good burger yeah it's good all right it's barbecue duck clubhouse mm. that is so good no it's really good i like it wow the raisin bread that they use it's just an explosion of flavor mm. let's try this spaghetti spaghetti mean thing in a brick apart the meatball here yeah break apart the meatball Let's try the spaghetti kini here. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's really good. Wow. Mm. Damn, that's good. This is garlic bread. Mm. Pretty good. I know Sally wants it. Sally! Yeah, she's, she's reaching for it. There you go. Oh, can I have one? Oh, yeah, you can, you can spread it with Sally. Mm. Wow, that's good. Kobe's, I like how they say Kobe style meatball. I mean, it's a good meatball, but not, it's not Kobe meatball. But it's not squash, ravioli. Mm. Wow. This is by far still the best but it's not squash ravioli I ever sampled. I mean, I try, I try different places that have butter squash ravioli, but the way the Cascos makes it, by far the best. There you go, check it out. That's how you know it's a good dish. When well, there's nothing left. Same thing with Daniel, see? Great dish, nothing left. Amy, nothing left. Sally's, even Sally finished. I can't believe it. Normally Sally doesn't finish her food. Uh, so, it's not a good restaurant. You eat everything. And now we're looking forward to dessert. All right, so the famous dessert here, and actually I was the first person to sample this dessert. And it's called a chocolate peanut butter crunch bar. And Rob, when Rob Feeney first showed it to me uh, and a couple of my friends, he asked what we can do to improve it. I said, maybe a scoop of ice cream. And but that's the first time. And now when we come to the Cattle Club, when we get the dessert, it comes with a scoop of ice cream. So he, uh, he actually listens to his, his critics, I guess. <laughs> so, and I noticed he has a new dessert now, caramel chocolate mousse. And they have a single and a double and a triple even. Oh my god. <laughs> Caramel chocolate mousse. So I think we're gonna try the peanut butter crunch bar and the uh, triple chocolate mousse. Oh wow, oh check that Put out. Put it on Instagram. That's, oh right. for sure. Anything I can get you guys right now? That's it. Uh, that that, that looks like a shock. That's what that is. So this here is the caramel mousse. And it looks yeah, it's actually bigger than I thought. I thought it's gonna come in a shot glass, but these are like super big shot glass. And this is the peanut butter crunch bar. Originally, like I said, it was just a crunch bar, but then uh, when Rob, Rob listened to his customers and he added the ice cream. Yeah, so there you go. Since we have only three mousse, 
and three kids. Guess who's taking all the moose? So, but I will try a sample of that, and I'm gonna try a sample of this too. To eat the moose, Amy, you go all the way to the bottom side, no, all the way to the bottom, and scoop it up. Yeah, you need to scoop all the way to the bottom and pull some moose up. All right, now side try. It. How is it, Sally? Too much? You, you hit too much moose? Like it? Oh, so good. So good? Oh, she said so good. Daniel, give it a try. Daniel, what do you think? You can't speak. Like, you know it's good when you can't speak. You got you to think about your response. That's really good. This is amazing. Uh, I'm going to have the rest of these now. Kids are going for the peanut butter crunch bar. Uh, Sally showing how it's done. You pick up some peanut butter bar, crunch bar, add the ice cream. Yeah, they like it. Yeah, it's a great way to finish off a really good lunch. Uh -huh. mm. This is so good. Wow. This might be my new favorite dessert here at, here at the Cutter Club. Wow. All right. So anyway, that was an amazing dot-com lunch. Uh, beautiful day today. We are going to finish up here. Then head over to John Lawson Park to, I guess, work off this lunch. But uh, yeah, if you're ever in the Vancouver area or Calgary or Toronto, Cutter's Club, there's a Cutter's Club near you. There's uh, one, uh, that, this is the, I said they did one best casual chain for like five plus years in a row by Vancouver Magazine. So uh, you can't go wrong here. When you, when you check the menu, look for the little RF logo next to the food. That means that particular dish was created by Chef Rob Feeney. All right. John Chef with Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this episode. Like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.